up guys yeah today we've got a new one we have a new mexican lager it is uh tj's tijuana now this is a nice can that you will only be finding i believe at trader joe's and i saw it really pop up right around single to mile decided let's give it a whirl it is made in uh tape in uh mexico um it says in tijuana so let's crack it open and you know, a lot of times, Trader Joe's will use other breweries to make their beers. Ooh, I got all, got all shook up. Uh -huh. um, usually Trader Joe's, which is weird, it's been sitting in their fridge for... But anyway, Trader Joe's will use a lot of like other breweries to make their products. I know Unibro out of Canada will make some of the things. And the great thing is, a lot of times those beers are, when you buy at Trader Joe's under the Trader Joe's label, are cheaper than under the actual company label. Like I can get a Unibro with a Trader Joe label stuck on it for like half the price of what the normal beer normally costs. Now I tried to look up, this thing is not going down. I looked up the brewery that this is based out of in Mexico and it's not like a, I was expecting maybe it, it was just a, a larger other Mexican beer and they just kind of changed the label. But no, this is actually a microbrewery in Mexico and it's just shipping to Trader Joe's. So on point, this is basically, this is essentially a micro beer out of Mexico. But pour this out. So yeah, you are probably only going to be able to find this in Trader Joe's. You have a Trader Joe's nearby. But it's got some nice color on it, some nice carbonation. It is not just like piss clear. Color's not too bad. It's got, I mean, that looks like a that looks like a decent poor Mexican lager to me. But yeah, I've never had this, never smelled it. It does have 5% alcohol, so it is a little higher than normal. And I'll give them props for this. I wish every beer company did this. Right on the label, it says the ABV, the IBUs, and the SRM. I'm not sure what the SRM is off the top of my head, but uh, so this is 20 IBU. I just, I wish every brewery, every can did that, so you knew exactly what you're getting into. I don't know why more don't, but you know, whatever. This one does. Anyways, let's get into the review and let's get into the smell. It has a lemon zesty aroma to it. Almost a, a hint of maybe like an orange. But it's definitely like, like a floral citrus note at the top. A little bit of like, like a, a wheat grain, not a lot. It's subtle, subtly there. It doesn't have that moppy wet bread smell to it. It's it, it's uh, it's very clean. So none of that funk. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's not a whole lot of uh, different aromas going on, but it, it is just very. It's light. It's very citrusy. It's. Doesn't smell skunky. It, it it smells like something that could be pretty decent when you know, just when you're craving a decent Mexican lager, and that is maintaining its head, man. It is that did not die. I'm so that is that's legit. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend it on the aroma. I think it smells great. And yeah, this is uh, all right. Not bad at all, man. Normally these things at the head will just die out real quickly, but this is this is not bad. This is maintaining that. So all right, let's get into the taste. I almost need the <laughs> the foam to die down a little bit.
Oh, the uh, the citrus kind of dies down. You don't get as much of it as you do on the nose. It's more of a uh, it's more of a grain, more of a wheat. It's, it's a little more bitter. It's, it's not as bright. It's not as bright and uh, citrusy and light as you, you might have assumed after smelling it. Has a bit of a, a little bit of a nutty taste to it, almost like Pilsner meets like a brown ale, um, and that that uh, kind of wheat or the the grain bitterness kind of it, it lingers on the edges of your tongue. You know, it, it's it's not a clean finish; it lingers. For me personally, the the subtle bitter nuttiness it lingers a little too long. I would have liked it to have more of a clean, crisp finish. I think that if it had a little more of the lemon, floral, citrus notes that it had with the uh, smell and a clean finish, it would have been phenomenal. But it doesn't really so. If, to, it doesn't really have that. So for me, the, the taste kind of doesn't quite live up to the smell. Yeah, the, the more I'm having it, I'm, the more I, the sips I'm having it, the, the less I'm really getting into it. It's, um, it's okay, but I think, yeah, it doesn't live up to what the, the smell initially gave it. But it, it's not terrible, but... To me, yeah, that... That nutty bitterness just lingers too long. Um... Man, I'm so I'm not gonna recommend it. I'm trying to think if I want to give it a half or just. Eh, the more I'm drinking it, the more the taste is just not doing it for me. So, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna recommend it on taste, sadly. And I'm, I'm saying sadly because the next category is value for price. This can cost me 75 cents and it wasn't on sale. I mean, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever bought a one-off can for under a buck like that. At least in the States. An import into the States for under a dollar. That is crazy. That is a crazy good price. So even though I'm not completely recommending it, I mean, it's not the worst tasting beer. I think I just had higher hopes with the smell, but I mean, it's 5% ABV. So if you want that extra like 1% kick up and you want it cheaper, then I'm pretty sure this is cheaper than any other Mexican beer you're going to find, period. Because I don't think I've found one for under a dollar. Um, yeah, here you go. So value for price, like I'd give it two thumbs up if I could. So yes, absolutely value for price. This is... Uh, Yes. Coming from Brewery Cerveceria Tijuana. Um, yes, value for price, absolutely, which is why it kind of crushes me to say it doesn't quite live up to the taste I was hoping for it to have. You might think differently. It, it's not the worst thing, so I definitely recommend at least, at least giving it a whirl and making your own judgment. I mean, what do you have to lose for 75 cents? But all right, next category is uh, distinction, and I mean, I mean, it's it's a Mexican lager. It's hard to distinct distinct itself.
Honestly, I think once the carbonation dies down, it might taste actually better. It's, it's all, you almost need it to flatten out a little bit. The, the, I mean, we still got decent head on it, and it's been seven minutes since I poured it. Um, distinction, I mean, it doesn't really stand. I mean, it's so hard for a lager to stand out. Most of your standard Mexican lagers taste very much the same, unless, you know, they are more the, the Vienna style from pre-1900. Then then they'll taste different. But anything post, like, 1900, and they, it has pretty much the same, a very similar taste to it. So, I mean... It doesn't taste skunky. It doesn't taste funky. So I'll, I'll give it props for that. Um, it's not all that different, but I'll, I'll give it a half. It, it's, you know, you might not be able to pull, you know, pick it out of a lineup, but, you know. Eh. Um, all right, next category is drinkability and... I mean, yeah, not, it's not too bad. Uh, you could drink that fine. You pair that with some food, and it's probably just perfect. Um, you can pair that with just, you know, some tacos, some, like, Thai food would be great. This paired with Thai food would probably be pretty good, like some spicy Thai food. Or um, get some Mexican seafood, some spicy Mexican seafood. That would be pretty good. I mean, this I think this would be just a good, solid, cheap lager to pair with just food when you don't want anything really crazy. You know, sometimes you just want a regular beer while you're eating. You don't want to get all super crazy on your on your palate, or whatever. You don't want like a 90 IBU when you're eating food because you want to. The beer is, is secondary with the food at this point. So I mean, yeah, drinkability is fine. I'll recommend it for that. Um, next category or last category is uh, we're gonna buy it again and. This is one of those categories where I think the price absolutely saves the where I buy it again. Because if this if this was priced the same amount as like a Modelo, uh, a Takate, or any of those other ones, if this price the same amount, I no, I would have no. I'd just go with the other ones because I think for me a Takate tastes just a little better. At least it has more of a, a crisper finish, which is what I'm looking for if I'm like just pairing it off with some regular food. Um, but it's 75 cents for one can. I mean, I, you could probably get, get a 12 pack. I, I didn't look at what the 12 pack was costing, which is probably like six bucks, six ninety nine, for essentially a micro beer, an import micro beer for a 12 pack. That's you're not gonna find that anywhere. So you know. Sure thing, do that. I mean, heck, support. I'm all for supporting the more of the uh, micro beers in Mexico because they got some fantastic ones. If you're ever in like a border town, just pop on over and check out some of those micro beers because they, I mean, the micro brewery industry in Mexico is trying, it's trying to pop up and they got some good ones, especially in the uh, um, Baja California you know, kind of south of San Diego. They're kind of clinching onto that uh, California thing. But absolutely, like, I, I'm d so for supporting it. Get some unique takes on those beers as well. But, so yeah, I will buy it again just because, I mean, that price, you cannot beat that price. But, all right, that is my review of TJ's Tijuana Mexican Lager. Uh, have you had it before? Have uh, I mean you have to have a Trader Joe's nearby, so it, it, I'm sure it, that limits some places uh, because Trader Joe's is very picky for where they open stuff up. But uh, yeah, if you've had one before, let me know. If you haven't had it before and you do have a Trader Joe's nearby, go on and pick this up. It's it's well worth the uh, the price of admission for this. And I mean they got some other beers that are worth checking out that you know that you can't find anywhere else but Trader Joe's so absolutely check it out and let me know what you think in the comments and yes that is a review so for myself and TJ's Tijuana Mexican Lager take it easy